to the show, everybody. How about this one today? I have three incredible students ready to rock with their incredible teachers from Mitchell Elementary School in Southwest Philadelphia. Hey, they're officially in the classroom now, so I'm in charge. They're going head to head. $500 is on the line, but you know who came to see the show? It's this crowd of people from Mitchell. It's so loud. Bragging rights is on the line. Now, our contestants have buzzers in hand. You guys ready to play? It's pop quiz time. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, guys, we're ready to play Pop Quiz. Everybody looks like they're ready to play this game. Here we go. Time starts right now. What color is the giant dog named Clifford? First one in, Miss Phonic. Red. Red is right. The infield of a baseball field is commonly referred to as what shape? Mr. Wharton. Diamond. Diamond is right. Teachers, two straight. Here we go. According to legend, what city was founded by Romulus and Remus, twin sons of Mars, the god of war? Buzzer sounds. We're looking for Rome there, guys. Rome. Zero multiplied by any number is equal to what? Leah. Zero is right. You're on the board. How about it? Dr. Facile, an evil voodoo doctor who practices dark magic, first appeared in what Disney movie? Miss Bonick. Dracula. Incorrect. Students, for the steal, free guest here. Disney movie? The answer, the princess and the frog. One of my favorites. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection are the main stages of what process? Miss Bonick. The water cycle. Water cycle is right. How about this extra credit? This one's worth double. Students, we can tie the game right here. Onion rings, chicken fries, and the Whopper are all menu items at what fast food restaurant? Miss Bonick. Burger King. Yeah, the BK Lounge. What Mattel game consists of a tube with marbles sitting on top of sticks that players have to remove without letting the marbles fall through? The answer, Kerplunk. How about that sound? What you, oh, that's it for pop quiz, guys. We are out of the first round, just like that. Teachers, five right answers gets them up to 50. Students, one right answer gets them to 10. But everybody's got points, so everyone's joining the party, and it's a party full of these people. My name is Brooklyn, I'm in eighth grade, and in my spare time, I like to make money. Hi, my name is Aquaya, I am in eighth grade, and I like to play board games with my friends. Hi, my name is Aaliyah, I'm in eighth grade, and I like to do cheerleading. Hello, everyone, my name is Rob Wharton, I'm a fourth grade teacher at Mitchell Elementary, and I'm here to prove that I'm smarter than an eighth grader. Hi, I'm Ms. Bonick, I teach second grade, and I'm here for the competition. Hi, I'm Ms. Evans, I teach first grade, and we are here to kick their butt. <laughs> all right, it's Mitchell Elementary School, but on the show today, they're all eighth graders, the Mitchell Mustangs. It's good to see you guys. What do you say uh, we jump right into a little detention? <laughs> Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay, big round here for the students. They can still tie this game right here with the win and detention. And guys, we're going to start with you. So here's your first category. No buzzers needed here. Your social studies. You want to play or pass that? Social studies. Pass. You're going to pass. They don't love social studies, but they love math, they said. So we'll see how they do later. Guys, here you go. What is the name of the 1820 legislation that admitted Missouri to the Union as a slave state and Maine as a free state, preserving the balance between slave and free states? <laughs> On my she left side, we have some great teachers. First grade, second grade, and fourth grade. Oh, Need an answer? Nothing. We're looking for the Missouri Compromise right there. Hey, students, 
great pass out of you guys. You get to send your first teacher to detention. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> They've been scheming this for a while. Okay. Miss Bonnick. Miss Bonnick, our second grade teacher, no longer in the game. Look at that. It stays, it stays cordial, though. She gave you guys a little thank you wave as she heads to detention. And we go over to our teachers with your category of science. We're football fans over here, Rich, so we're going to pass. We're going. We're, we're putting it. Here we go. What is the term for the pocket beneath a volcano where magma collects before it erupts? You guys can talk about it. The pocket beneath the volcano. Magma. Answer. We're not sure. Couldn't do it. We're looking for the magma chamber or the magma reservoir. Teachers with a great pass there. And now a big one. Brooklyn, Aquea, or Aaliyah? Who's going to be? I waited four years for this, Rich. Brooklyn. Hey, all right. Brooklyn. And it finally happened. That's why we come on the show to send our students to detention. Here we go, students. Here's your category. Television. We're gonna play, here you go. What TV channel hosts the Kids' Choice Awards, giving out orange blimps with its name on them? Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon is right, there you go. <laughs> I mean, you look surprised, was that a guess? That was a good guess if it was. All right, you gotta send one of your teachers to detention. Who's it gonna be? Mr. Wharton. Mr. Dub, our math teacher, fourth grade. He's out of there. If you can't see this, Mr. Wharton's shoe game is through the roof. Look at those kicks, man. Super fresh. Thank you. I'm digging them. We're going to have to talk after the show, see if I can borrow them one time. Okay, teachers, we go back to you. How do you feel about sports? <sighs> I'm going to play. What is the first and last name of the Sixers player who hit his first NBA three-pointer on October 8th, 2019. No help from the audience here. Answer, Miss Evans could not get it done. Ben Simmons, students win the round and tie the game. Miss Evans, you gotta go to detention. Hey, Brooklyn, you get out of there and come back here. I am loving that round. Did you guys know Ben Simmons hit that three-pointer? Well, I'm glad she got it. Hey, stick around, because when we come back, art class is next. But we got a tie game on our hands, people. We'll see you after the break. Mitchell Elementary School is the most hyped school of all time. That is what I'm talking about. Hey, here's how this game works, guys, because we move on. Each team selected one player to draw. Since the game is tied, we're going to start with the students. The artist, you're going to select a card right here, Leah, whether it's going to be red or blue with a word or a phrase hidden on the inside. You're going to have five seconds to draw. Then your teammates over here are going to come up with one guess in 10 seconds. Correct answer on the first round, 30 points. Okay, if you get it wrong, guys, we'll give you a few more chances, but we're going to decrease each round. Leah, you played a great game so far. You got a smile. That could kill. Look at that. There it is. But are you red or are you blue? This is a tough one. She's going to go blue. You stand back here. You open up that card and look at your word as, you're, as your friends just stare and wonder what you're going to draw. Okay, I like that word for you. Your reaction screams, I don't love that word. But I'm going to close this up for you. Uncap that pen so you're nice and ready to go. On my call, one, two, three, draw. Five seconds on the clock. Okay, hold it right there. Are you an artist? I think you might be. Guys, what are we looking at? You, 
can talk about it. You have 10 seconds to come up with one guess. Answer? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Where you keep your points, I put them in the fridge. They just got 30 points, bringing them up to 80 points on the game. Aaliyah, give me one of these big high fives. You go sit over there. Nicely done, artist. Come on up. All right, we bring our next teacher. Now, she picked blue. I'm going to give you red. Ms. Bonnick, as you look at that word, I'm going to read. Yep, please tear that open there. Okay. Now, she, in your free time, you're a great artist, you said, right? <coughs> okay, perfect. I just lied. But five starts right now. Quick drawler. Students go first round. Here we go. What are we looking at? One guess, guys. One Sorry. guess. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the card. Happy girl. Happy girl. 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 Answer. Happy girl. Happy girl. Incorrect. <laughs> what a term we could use there. Five more seconds starts right now. All right, going to second round now. Only 20 points on the board right here. Possible. Stop right there. Ooh. Ooh. What are we looking at, guys? One guess. Here. You can talk about it. Earphones. Say it again. Headphones. Headphones is right. There you go. 20 points. It's all about the music note. Getting creative, Ms. Bonick. Right. Nicely done. And how about it? Scores. Students, you hold a 10-point lead after this round. That's called breaking it down. Who wants a little bit more extra credit? I am so excited because Meredith Vieira, host of 25 Words or Less, right here on Fox 29, is asking our extra credit question today. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. Correct answer here, 10 points, guys. Meredith, welcome to the show. Hey, Richard, where's my cheesesteak? Okay, well, I'm waiting for that. Here's your extra credit question. What continent is also a country? Do you think you know it? I'll have the answer for you right after the break. Welcome back inside my classroom. We call it the classroom. Today it's students and teachers from Mitchell Elementary School in Southwest Philly, a team of eighth graders looking to beat their teachers. Now, before the break, Meredith Vieira, host of 25 Words or Less, asked both teams this extra credit question. What continent is also a country? Okay, let's reveal these answers. We're going to start over here with students. Brooklyn, you said... Africa. And teachers, you said... Australia. Right? Australia. Meredith, who's right? The correct answer is Australia. Did you get it? By the way, I'm still waiting for that cheesesteak. Okay, all right, so teachers, you get that right. 10 points ties up this game. And Meredith, you make it into Philly. I'm gonna buy you a few dozen cheesesteaks. I'd love to have you on the show. All right, how about this one? Guys, we got a tie ball game. Brooklyn, if you guys win this money, $500 has never been closer to you. What are you gonna do with it? We're going to put it towards our eighth grade trip. Oh, nice. Anywhere you want to go in particular? Uh, well, we were planning on going to Washington, D.C. All right, cool. You got an extra seat on the bus for your old pal, Rich Curtis? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm not sure she said yes, so I don't think I'm going. <laughs> Teachers, what are you going to do with it? Rich, we will use the money to assist our student activities fund. I love it, man. Great places. Both sides. What do you guys say? We keep smiling because it's picture day. <laughs> Teams, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you a picture of a famous person, place, or thing. And we went ahead and made it impossible to guess because we covered it with boxes. I'm going to give you three clue, guys, one at a time with each clue. I'm going to take three more of those boxes away. You buzz in, you get it right, it's going to be 10 points. You buzz in, you get it incorrect. Your side's locked out. Other side can jump in and steal it right out from under you. We have three pictures today. So here we go. Picture one, cover it with boxes, and I'm going to give you this clue. This character was once known as Mr. Video and Jumpman. We move on. Clue two. I'm going to take three more boxes away. Let's see how you do with this. He lives in Mushroom Kingdom. Last clue.
clues. Three more guys. This is it. Grand finale. He normally wears overalls and a red hat with the letter M on it. Brooklyn. Mario. Is that Mario? Yeah, it sure is. Gets you to 90. Ten point lead. Every single picture here in picture day is so important, guys. It's the last round before final exam. We move to picture two. Their sisters. Clue two, three more boxes, please. Beyonce signed these singers to her label after seeing their cover of her song, Pretty Hurts. Miss Bonzik? Oh, sorry. Jump the buzzer there. That's right. Just smile into the camera. You look great. So that'll be fine. <laughs> Students for the steal. Chloe and Holly. Buzz in if you know it. Bye. Brooklyn. Chloe and Holly. I knew you had it. Is that Brooklyn and Chloe and Haley? Yeah, there it is. That's who it is. <laughs> Brooklyn, I tried to mix you in the answer there, but yeah, it was Chloe and Haley. How about a great steal for you? Ms. Bonick, tough break on the Herley steal. And guys, how about this? It comes down to our final question, picture three. Good luck. This person became a licensed pilot as a teenager. That's unbelievable. How about this one? Clue two, three more boxes. This could help. His famous line was actually a misquote. We have six boxes now. Let's make it nine on the picture, and I'm going to give you this one. He was the first person to walk on the moon. Mr. Wharton. Neil Armstrong. Is that Neil Armstrong? First one in. Buzzers were clicking as fast as they could. Mr. Wharton gets it under the gun there. Neil Armstrong is right. Teachers, that gets you to 90 points. Students, very slim lead, but that's still a lead. How about it? Both teams have a chance to win this thing. We go to the grand finale final exam. Today's final exam is bacteria and viruses. I'm going to ask both teams three questions all about that topic. They get it right. It's 100 points added to their score. They're going to write down the answers during the commercial break, but we're going to get to those questions first. Here they are. Question one, final exam. In single-celled organisms like bacteria, what is the term for the long, whip-like tails that help a cell move? Question two. Bacteria, viruses. In the 2018 movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Ralph releases a virus named Arthur into what video game to get his best friend, Vanellope, back? Finally, here you go, guys. What is the term for any substance typically administered through a needle or shot that helps prevent and protect against certain infectious diseases like polio, chickenpox, and the flu? There are your question, guys. You have three of them. 300 possible points left to be grabbed here. When we come back from break, will it be the students who are at 100? Will it be their teachers who are at 90? We're going to crown a champ here on the classroom. Hey, it's Mitchell today. How about your school gets on tomorrow? Here's how they can be a part of the show. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Into the classroom today, we have students and teachers from Mitchell Elementary. The scores couldn't be tighter. Students, you took a 10-point lead in the last round. Guess them to 100. Over their teachers with 90. It's anybody's game here as we go into the final exam. And it's bacteria and viruses, two things I want nothing to do with. Look, 300 points is on the line. With each question you get right, I'm going to add 100 to your score. Here we go, guys. We're playing final exam. In single-celled organisms like bacteria, what is the term for the long whip-like tails that help a cell move. Miss Evans, we're gonna start with you. You said? Virus. Incorrect. Ali, we go to you. Can you take a commanding 110-point lead? You said? Virus. Virus as well. The answer was flagella or flagellum there, guys. That's the gold guy swimming around like this. Good flip. In 2018 movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Ralph releases a virus named Arthur into what video game to get his best friend, Vanellope, back? Ms. Bonick, did you see the movie? I did. I showed it to my kids, actually. Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man, incorrect. Students, you said... Pac-Man. Pac-Man, all right, we are on fire as far as getting each other's answers <laughs> right. 
The answer, Slaughter Race. That, I mean, Pac-Man sounds so much more fun. And now, this game comes down to our final question. What is the term for any scientifically administered, administered through a needle or shot that helps prevent and protect against certain infectious diseases like polio, chickenpox, and the flu? Teachers, you gotta get this right or the students win the game. Mr. Wharton, you said... Vaccination. That's right, and how about it? 190, you hold the lead. Students get it right, $500 gets added to your pocket. Get it wrong, and the teachers are calling themselves champions. Brooklyn, what did you say? Vaccine. Vaccine is right. Take it home. 200 points. You just beat your teachers.